thank you, Honorable Council, for uh, giving everyone in this room the ability to redress their government and address issues that they have with the people who are elected in order to make decisions for them. You do not introduce yourself. My name is Joseph Borland. I'm a lifelong citizen of Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania. I come to you as the last three speakers urging you to pass a resolution in order to recognize Martin Luther King Day as an official holiday for the city of Wilkesbury. I am a coach of the Meyer Speech and Debate Team. Every third January, we have a tournament in honor of Dr. King. Dr. King was a great order, but that's not why we have the tournament. We have the tournament because of what the content of his message is. Orders are a dime a dozen. People that can move a nation are very rare. The content of that message is a message of love, a message of dignity, a message of respect, a message of civil rights, and a message of the right to redress your government for issues or injustices that come in front of you. I'd like to concentrate on the last two today to counsel. One, we'll look at civil rights. <coughs> civil rights cannot remain stagnant and never can. Once a community or a government becomes apathetic with civil rights, it's the second that we allow oppression to come into our government. This isn't something new to our democracy. This was something the Greeks wrestled with thousands of years ago when having the creation of democracy. It is important that we address the Martin Luther King holiday, the Dr. King holiday, because it's a yearly reminder to the people that we can't remain stagnant in civil rights, that we have to constantly be diligent, that we can't allow oppression to reach into our government, and we can't allow it to come into our communities. But it wasn't just civil rights that Dr. King stood for. I think his overall message to me and to a lot of people in the United States is the ability to redress your government. And that's why I started today with thanking you, because it's obviously something that the council believes in. They're sitting here listening to their citizens. They're listening to the issues they have, whether it comes to this holiday, whether it comes to taxes, whether it comes to garbage collection. The ability to peacefully redress your government is a fundamental right of the United States, and it is something that Dr. King inspired a nation to do to create change. So, as we look at why we should have the Dr. King holiday, it's not really about a day off of work. It's about a yearly reminder to the people of Wilkesbury, to the government of Wilkesbury, their duties. Their duties to civil rights, to keep oppression out of their government and their communities. And the duty for the government to listen to their citizens when they have issues, and that same duty for citizens to speak up when they believe the government is wronging them or should be changed. Dr. Martin Luther King accomplished a lot before his death almost 50 years ago. But in most ways, he accomplished even more following his death. Acknowledging Dr. King's holiday is allowing us to celebrate what Dr. King accomplished in the past, but even more joining with his spirit and trying to accomplish more in his name in the future, which is my belief will continue to happen throughout the United States of America and hopefully in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. Thank you for your time.